Hey, what's up guys? Got the new Collector Core box in, Spider-Man. If you regularly watch my videos, you'll remember that I was pretty disappointed with the last Marvel Funko box, which was the year one commemorative box. It was just awful. Um, but yeah, if you want to check that out, it's on my channel. But I'm hoping that this one is good enough to make me forget that debacle. Um, usually with my unboxings, I just open them up and show you real quick how it's all packaged. And then I'll go through each item, and at the end, I'll let you know what I think about everything, whether I would buy this or not, if I knew what was inside, and just give it a score from 1 to 10. Oh my god. I gotta say that the patch looks really good. It's nice and clean. I like the blue background behind the Spider-Man head. The only thing I would have liked better is if this was just a Spider-Man head, but I know they gotta put collector core on it, but... Just a patch of a Spider-Man head would have been really cool. The pin is very nice as well. I like that they used the Spider-Man logo from his chest. Although, just like the patch, I think it would have looked cooler without the collector core on it and just the Spider logo, the webbing, and the Marvel. But this pin is very high quality. Very nice. Yeah, I like it. I think it's cool that the comic book comes bag and boarded. I just wish they used the kind of bag that you can um, take the comic book in and out of because once you open this one, it becomes pretty useless. But it is a nice touch that it comes bag and boarded. And I really like the art this time because sometimes the pop art tends to look a little unfinished, but they got a way better colorist this time and the shading and everything on Spider-Man looks good and this does look like a finished piece of art that is worthy to be on a cover. So yeah, really liking that cover. I like the pose that Spider-Man's in. And he just looks cool as a pop like that. Looks like the art is pretty nice in this book. The lizard in there. Looks like Spider-Man's got a sweet ride. It's pretty awesome. I didn't know Spider-Man had vehicles. Yeah, I haven't really read Spider-Man in a while. But yeah, this art looks really nice. Um, story looks interesting. Not sure if this is, uh, I'm guessing that's issue 16, or it could be the 16th variant. I am not sure. But yeah, The Amazing Spider-Man. Pretty cool. Alright, so we get a Spider-Man Fabrications. Um, I don't collect plush, and I probably never will. But of the three plush toys that Funko makes, I think the Fabrications are the nicest ones. Well, I guess they don't call them plush. They call them soft sculptures, um, whatever that means. But yeah, it's a plush toy. The Mopies, I really hate. I don't like the Mopies at all. And then the new pop plushes they're making are pretty much a Mopey, but the head looks a little bit more like a pop and it's got the round pop eyes. Um, that's the only difference I really noticed with that. Yeah, I don't really like those, um, but this is the best one. Uh, the Fabrications are the best plush toy they make. Like, this is pretty high quality. Like, his pants kind of feel like um, like a fake leather. And then the webbing feels like felt. So they have the two different textures on the body here. And the head articulates, actually, which I've never seen on a plush toy. So that's pretty original. That's pretty cool. And, yeah, the stitching, everything is super, super nice. I can tell that this is a high quality toy. And I believe these fabrications aren't cheap. What, what are they, like 20 bucks or something? Um, I'm not sure. I've only seen, like, Rocket Raccoon. A, a Rocket Raccoon Fabrications. I can't remember anything else that I've seen in stores. Um, but yeah, it's like that Rocket Raccoon was sitting there at Walgreens for like the past like six, seven months until they must have like either clearanced it out or whatever. I'm not sure if people are really buying these. But this is nice. I like the box art too. And I like the sketching on the inside. I'm probably going to end up giving this away to somebody like Spider-Man um, and plushes or something. But yeah, this isn't for me, but this is a nice item. I can't believe they put another fucking hat in the box. They must be getting some good feedback somewhere about these hats. Um, I really have not seen anybody that really likes these hats. I've seen some people unbox stuff that tolerate the hats. They go, oh, they're not too bad. But nobody goes, oh man, the hat was my favorite item in the box this time. I'm so happy they're putting hats in there. That said... This is probably the nicest of the three now. The C-3PO one, um, just too geeky. The Groot one, too kitty. This one, I, I like the colors on it. Um, I wish it was just the, the Spider-Man. If it was just the Spider-Man head without this amazing Spider-Man on there, I might actually wear this maybe. Um, 
Because, yeah, the colors are pretty cool. I do like the gray, red, and black. I like the Spider-Man logo back here. I like the snapback. I like that it says Marvel right here on the tag. That's pretty cool. Really well-made hat. It's cool, but, yeah, wish it didn't say Amazing Spider-Man. Wish this was. I wish this was a shirt, to be honest. But this isn't too bad. I'll probably end up giving it to, to a kid. I'm sure they'll love it. So I'm not too upset with this, but I'm not happy with it either. This is exactly what I wanted the pop to be. I just wanted a really cool new sculpt of Spider-Man. Just him. No gimmicks, no nothing. Just a really cool Spider-Man. Because I actually don't have a Spider-Man in my collection. I've been wanting to get one. It's just that I really don't like the sculpt on Spider-Man, the original. The, I think the head's too blocky, and I think the eyes look just weird. Like, they have the round pop eyes with a lot of black around them. They just, they look awful to me. And I liked the Spider-Man in the Civil War 4-pack. I just didn't like everything else in the 4-pack. Um, I thought the Hawkeye paint jobs were awful in pretty much every single 4-pack that I saw, and I saw a lot of them. They just had really, really, really awful paint jobs. And I really didn't want the two keychains. I just wanted that Spider-Man by itself. And this looks to be the same head as that one, which I think is excellent. It's an excellent head sculpt for this Pop Spider-Man. But it's got a new action pose body, which is perfect. The classic shoot in the web hand gesture. Looks like it comes with a little stand. Really cool. I really, really like this Pop. It's exactly what I wanted. And I like that it's just uh, the spider on the back. Awesome Pop. The only thing that sucks is my box has some damage here. It looks like um, where they gripped it to either put it in or kind of forced it in a little bit. Not too bad. I didn't even notice it right away until I started looking at it really close. But other than that, it's, it's perfect. Really like the pop. All right, so I have some mixed feelings about this box, and I'm actually going to give it two ratings. I'm going to start out by saying that the value is definitely there. If you really wanted that hat and that pop, and you were to buy them in a store you definitely spend the 33 bucks that this box cost. So the value is definitely there. And I think we've been kind of spoiled by Funko in these monthly boxes um, by the cool shit they give us for the price. Now, the two ratings comes in like this. I'm going to give this box a 10 out of 10. But this is from me pretending I'm about 9, 10, 11, 12 years old again. Because if I got this, like as a 10 year old, I would love that hat. I would definitely love the pop. I would really like having a new comic book to read. I would use the patch and pin and the fabrications. I'd probably put that on my desk or something or in my room somewhere. I would absolutely love everything in this box. So I think from that mindset, this is a 10 out of 10. And I do think that a lot of kids buy these boxes because 33 bucks isn't that much for a parent to spend for their kid every couple months. So definitely a 10 out of 10. Now, from... Me, now, as a collector, I would give this box a 5 out of 10 because I really like the pop, um, but I don't like the hat. I don't like the fabrications. The comic book and the patch and pin are just like throw-ins to me, like they're filler to fill it up, which is nice. It's, it's a cool filler. It's not just dumb stuff. It's actually a comic book that you can read. But the only thing I'm really going to keep in this entire box is the Spider-Man. So you can say I spent $33 on a Spider-Man pop, which is more than I like to spend, but it's a cool pop. And I think that hat is going to make a kid happy when I give it to him. And probably the Spider-Man plush as well. So yeah, 5 out of 10 from me. Not disappointed in this box. Not super happy with it. So yeah, that was a Spider-Man Collector Core box. Did it take the bad taste out of my mouth from the year one box? No, but not bad. Alright guys, thanks for watching and take it easy.